We are going to go on a journey of space and time here on The Real Martian. Happy Monday, Mission Control. I gave up on using the black filament. It's just not even worth my time. I switched over to the white. I got it on the eight kilogram roll and <clears throat> I set print, let it go. This is the first set off of it. And I, I already see I got a, I didn't update the settings from the black back to the white because uh, we have a higher temperature being used for the black than what we need for the white. So I do have some, some oozing here, but nothing at all that's bad. Uh, just get this netting little type of stuff here, leftover filaments. And then also some of the black filament peeled off is actually really interesting. That stuff just sucks. That's the answer to that. Uh, but just put it back to white. You can see this is all leftover black stuff. Bad, bad ooey gooey stuff that happened there. So I don't think we're going to use that anymore. It's just not even worth our time. So we need, I think, about two more grow boxes. And I got more cartridges here. This is the cool thing about having the Modix printer is I could have print a lot of stuff at one time. Uh, set it and forget it once you get everything all dialed in. Oh, man. Yeah, these, man, that black stuff. Look at this. The black. I, I purged it all, but what I think happened is some of it was stuck to the side of the nozzle and it just fell off in there and I didn't catch that. But these are all nice and strong. That one's all messed up. That was the very first one. Ugh. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And then we got this guy here. Yikes. Yeah, this is our wall mount. We got three new face plates, cartridges, and a wall mount. I'm gonna give the bed a good cleaning here. I ordered a bunch of isopropyl alcohol. Get that on there, get it nice and wet. I'll feel it go through all my open sores in my hand here shortly. <laughs> a little yikes action happening there. You can see a bunch of little black pellets left over from that horrible stuff. I have emailed the uh, supplier for that black filament and I need to send them some more information. I'm not really excited about their response being that they're like, well, send us a bunch so we can test it. I mean, you know how that's going to go. It's like when you have a computer problem and you ask somebody to look at it. By the time someone gets there and looks at it, the problem's gone. You know, that's how that works. Here we go. Nice and clean. Get another batch started here. This is the file that I had all set up here. And I think what I'd like to do, let's go take a count. Out to the dirty side we go. All right, so the black ones are gonna be on top so we can experiment with, uh, how well they keep the algae and everything away. Then we have the white ones on bottom. So, I just printed that one. All right, we might actually be done. We might be ready to start setting up for testing. Oh wait, those were old. Those are version, one of these was a version one, I think, which means it's, it's not gonna have the proper connections in it. I didn't mark it well enough. There it is, right there, version one. So that guy, no, that says version four. Uh, all right, we'll have to test that. But the one that we just printed, I know there's one extra one here. So one of those is not good. So we do need one more. Then we have our three black ones. The one I just printed goes there, and then whatever one here is bad, we'll, get, we'll find that. And then we got face plates. And we got all the mounts here. Let's see here, so we got one, two, oh, well, we'll figure out which one because it won't have a thing on that. There it is. This guy right here, he won't work. All right, now there's two of them that don't have that. These three don't have our wall mount system in them. So those three are no good. All right, this guy's nasty looking, but he'll go in there. So I need two more whites, all right? I have a white mount there. We're gonna be experimenting with different face plates. So we have black face plate, black face plate, big black face plate. And then we have 
you go in there. Yep, you go in there. Uh-huh. This little guy goes in here. All right, so there's, those are all complete. Now, we're gonna have that big face plate, that big face plate. This guy goes in here. Oh man, that first, that heat really screwed it up. I printed that one box a little too hot compared to the other ones and it's got some squishiness in it. Okay, so then one, two. I need three more. I need a piece of paper is what I need. <laughs> All right, so wall mounts, I need one, two, three, four, five cups. One small cup boxes times two. That's what we need. Back into the clean area. You gotta make sure when you're placing them and you're doing multi-process like what I'm doing that you, you start over here and your worker way zigzag so that you don't break any of the uh, models that you've created before, you know, that you don't have it hit those models. Prepare to print, select them all. Okay, oh boy, it's gonna be a big one. 51 hours, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, there we go. Save it, save it, save it. Load it, go for it. And there goes the print. We are going again. It's a little pop where the stuff comes out now. There it is. Looking nice, looking really nice. Well, I'm still on my kind of vacation mode. I'm really just taking my time working through things right now. I'm trying to let my body recover, let my mind recover. You know, there's just so much stuff happening in the world right now. It's really draining. Uh, and when you bust your butt like I have been, you need a little bit of a break. And what a real Martian break looks like, like we said in previous videos, is me just, I, I can't stop working. We're doing a startup. There is no vacation. But what I'm doing is I'm just slowing down a little bit. Um, I have a lot of stuff coming up though. In this video, I want to go over kind of getting the grow walls and everything all set up because you can see I got a lot of parts here. I think I have all the parts. We've got the aquarium going and uh, I want to get a little stand built and start getting really ready to actually grow things this week, which is very exciting. And we have the shrimp. The shrimp are doing great. Um, but here's, here's, here's some problems. Uh, it is currently June, what is it, June 21st and our weather is awesome right now, awesome. It's gonna be in the upper 80s today. Summer is here. Happy summer to everybody in the Northern Hemisphere. Happy winter to everyone down south, down under. Uh, but here's what it means, hay season. Hay season's coming. Um, I imagine this week, the people that we cut, get our hay from, they're gonna be cutting hay, which means it'll sit on the ground and probably late next week or the week after, that looks like there's some rain in the forecast. So. When you cut hay, you have to cut it while it's hot, cut it in the morning usually, uh, and then you have to let it dry out. And the reason you have to let it dry out is if it has any moisture content in it, when you compress it all, you actually kind of create bombs. Now that's a little bit of an over-exaggeration, but it's the right idea. What happens is you get these, the compression is in there, and with that moisture, what happens is it starts to decompose and it creates heat. And those hay bales can actually burst into flames and they've been known to burn barns down. So when you get hay, it's very important to make sure you know what your moisture content, well, if you're doing hay. Uh, you buy it from someone who knows what they're doing. You don't want to just go willy-nilly buy stuff. So uh, with the weather change, uh, going from hot to a little bit of rain to hot again, what that means is they'll cut it in the morning, they'll let it sit, they'll rake it, they'll try to get that moisture out. 
we'll probably get that rain. They'll have to maybe rake it again. We'll check the moisture and then they'll start baling. And that means I get to get the trailer and I get to get out there and start bucking bales. So another good reason to take a little bit of a break. Um, before that, luckily the people we buy hay from, they're very nice and they let us store hay in their barn in addition to what we have. So I need to go over to their place uh, and load up uh, probably at least two, three trailers full of hay that's currently in their barn from last year's harvest so we can make room for this year's harvest and I need to get that all here. In doing that and in trying, why I told you all that is this thing is right in the way of where the hay trailer needs to come. Now I was expecting to be done by now uh, with all the construction and everything but things aren't going my way so hey we just got to deal with it. In addition to the aquarium and the grow area being in the way, I also have the stainless steel uh, right in the way and the hay trailer has to come right in here and we have to get it all the way to the back. So now I have a problem of just space and time. Space and time. We are gonna go on a journey of space and time here on The Real Martian. And what we've gotta figure out is where to move all this stuff to, where to move that thing to and to get it all set up so that we can get the hay trailer in here. Now I'm not gonna do it all in one day again because I'm kind of going slow, but I'm gonna have to start chewing on this. Today's objective is to get this grow area all set up somewhere else so that I can, you know, we can set it up and really get going with it. Um, we're gonna have to figure that one out. We got Big Bertha printing and then I gotta figure that out. So there's a lot for me to do today. We might start by watching Star Trek Enterprise though, because that's kind of what I've been doing. I've kind of been like going to work a little bit and then I'll watch a little episode so my brain can just check out and then I'll go work some more. It's also really nice going outside. I might go for a walk. I gotta go check the neighbor's place, make sure irrigation's all set up right since it's gonna get so hot today. So I should probably do go do that. 